everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top Amazon purchases of 2020. Now I combed through what seems like a thousand orders. It's probably very close to like an order a day, sometimes multiple orders a day. It's ridiculous. I have a little bit of a reliance on Amazon. I wouldn't say it's a sh an addiction because I'm very grateful as a pregnant woman in the pandemic to have the ability to order things from places that will deliver things very quickly. Without further ado, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite things. And I, I went through these, these things, I was like, not what do I use every day, but what has been a game changer? What has been really useful? What is something that you probably wouldn't think of to purchase from Amazon or search for even? So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing is this. And you might be like, what the heck is that, Christina? Is this like a, like, a backrest or something no it's called the flippy and it is a tablet holder but it's super soft and scrunchy and you can kind of set it based on what you want it like really upright you flip it around and then this is kind of like the standard one that I use I got this iCat print but you can use any you can choose any kind of print and then this is like a short upright long upright and this one is like sort of more reclined. I usually use this position and I sit in my bed or on the couch and I like watch YouTube videos on my iPad, all that good stuff. It's wonderful. This makes a great gift too for anybody, grandparents, parents, um, couch potatoes. This pandemic, intra-pandemic, post-pandemic world we're living in, we're all staying a lot more at home. And so if you're Zooming a lot and you're using your iPad or your tablet to Zoom, this is really, really come in handy. And I just, I've never seen anyone talk about it, so I thought I would mention it here. There's more where that came from. Uh, speaking of electronic devices, I've been loving my uh, MacBook case. I did purchase this recently, but I'm putting this as a favorite because I just think it's so unique and I've never seen any MacBook case like this. I decided to go, instead of a skin like I used on my last MacBook, um, I wanted a little bit more protection, feeling like I could throw things around because um, this is a more portable size laptop than I had previously. I had a 16 inch last year for the better part of last year and that was just so heavy I almost never took it anywhere so skin was fine. But a hard shell case will really protect it from scratches and dings and this is like this plastic that is in like stamped or molded into this kind of animal print like mock croc design. I really love it. I think it's super cool. It's even got protection on the back and I will link it for you. I wish it came in other colors. It, so far I've only seen it in black, but if I can find it in other places on Amazon by other brands, I will link that too. But this is just, it's, it's so stylish. I like love whipping it out. I don't know. Let's talk pandemic essentials. I bought this actually not in 2020, but was it to that? Did I buy it in 2000? I think I bought this like literally a month and a half before the virus was even a thought in our minds. We didn't even know what it was. And shortly after that, Tylenol was sold out and thermometers were sold out. It's just, and that was during the whole like toilet paper shortage of 20. It was, it was a nutso time, but I managed to get my hands on this and then they skyrocketed the prices up to like 60 bucks, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks for a thermometer. It's back down now and this is the best one. So I have this because I have a toddler and I bought it not because I anticipated a pandemic was coming, but I liked that this was a non-contact thermometer, which is what we use um, in the hospitals in the operating room setting all the time when someone comes to recovery We check their temperature because it's my job to keep a patient warm I don't know if you knew that but it's my job to keep the patient warm during surgery and um, This is the eye health thermometer and it is a non-contact thermometer and what's really cool is you just hold it sort of close like you know temple or whatever and It'll just tell you the temperature Can You see 98.1. That's cool. I love that. Everything is going to be linked down below. The next thing I love are these Mulberry Silk face masks. And I love the, these because they're washable. They're super comfortable. Um, a, a face covering is better than no face covering. And while ordinarily I will use what I'll show you in a second, which is a surgical grade face mask, these are really nice when I'm hanging around family that I know have... Uh, 
you know, been isolating pretty well and we're just doing it to protect each other. Um, if I'm already going to be sort of distanced in a grocery store or, you know, in some sort of environment where I'm not going to be like really, really close to people, like I would be in the hospital, then I will wear these. And I got, um, this taupey color and this white color and I want to get more. They're so awesome and you can wash them, which is great. They're super comfortable to wear too. They're not like super hot. What I don't like about cloth masks in general, even with a filter in them, the cloth masks get really hot and humid and they tend to collect my hot breath and I hate that. And the silk is so breathable, it's wonderful. This, um, a bunch of you guys asked about this when I wore this in during my Vlogmas series. I, I did buy this during December, but this is definitely a favorite. I bought 48 of these and each one can be used 10 times. So you don't need to buy that many, but I will link like a smaller pack down below. But this is the Air Queen Nanofiber Filter Mask or Nano Mask is what it's called. It has a filter in it that is basically 0.1 micro micrometers. Um, it's so light, it's so such good cool airflow. It fits really well. I just think it's really, really great. And you can use this up to 10 times and it's made in Korea, so I can't read any of this on the back. Most of this is in Korean, but I will say these are super comfortable. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what they look like, and you can wear them, as I said, up to 10 times, and I just keep one in my car, one in my bag. Um, I gave a bunch to, to HB, and he loves them. He prefers them over any of the other masks that he's worn, and he can't stand some of these um, regular cloth masks because he, when he talks like with his beard and everything like um, when he talks it tends to like migrate down his chin like most conventional face masks tend to migrate down his chin it doesn't do that with this and it's cool airflow i really like it um and it's surgical grade so you know if it's good enough for surgeons it's good enough for us right let's move on to some clothes i've been loving these no-show socks i have a serious issue with no-show socks i can't stand them even the ones with like little um, uh, silicone pad in the in the back or in the front to help keep it from from slipping down. They 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 are either really thick and it's like hard to get your foot in the shoe and then it rides up and bunches up over the shoe and on your heel and I just I I take issue with a lot of them and I finally found these. I think I want to say my friend Alex Garza recommended these and I went I just went straight to Amazon and bought them on her recommendation and she is so right these are so amazing they come in a bunch of different colors they're very affordable they're super thick I really like that the toe is reinforced and it does have the silicone pad what I love about these is that it's not it doesn't bunch up it doesn't right sink down on your heel and it doesn't like I wear my golden goose with no show socks a lot my golden goose shoes and those are such a pain because they're so snug in the heel that the silicone pad will tend to like bunch up as you're putting your your foot inside the, the shoe. And it doesn't do that with these and that means it passes the test. So love that. Um, another kind of December favorite but will be a perennial kind of cold weather favorite. These are not the most inexpensive of all the clothing choices on Amazon. I imagine these got popular probably because it, I'm sure influencers were talking about this. I, I'm sure that's probably how I found about the sweater um, and they probably jacked up the price. But I will say I did not mind spending the money um, because I've been wearing these like every single day. The cost per wear on these sweaters is amazing. I think it's $35, which is a lot for Amazon clothes, especially Amazon clothes that have zero tags in them. There's like literally no tag, there's no care tag, there's no size, like it, it probably costs like $2 to make. <laughs> Knowing what I know about making sweaters now, um, this one probably cost $2. Mine didn't cost $2 to make. I wish it did, but it didn't. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I, I really love that these are lightweight, breathable, um, cozy, comfortable, cover the butt. Uh, they have kind of a biased hem. They have a little, um, it's like longer in the back here. And it has this little cut here. So you can wear them over leggings. It covers your butt. Um, you don't have to worry about like no-show panty lines or whatever. And it's, um, it's a great transitional piece. So you can layer like a long sleeve shirt 
or tank underneath if you need to be a little bit warmer and these will fit under slim coats and all that kind of stuff so it's not super bulky but it just adds a little bit of warmth i love them they're so great i have them in three colors i wouldn't i would buy more but they're 35 dollars each and i'm not gonna go hog wild on them speaking of more summery picks i really loved these maxi dresses i will link them down below they come in a million different colors i got them in the size small and they fit me even 35 weeks pregnant so they're super stretchy they are a very nice fabric they have pockets for the most part i want to say yeah this one has pockets um this is a turquoise one i just get they're very true to size um i am 5'2 and they're a little on the long side but they don't drag on the floor so um really an appropriate length for most people of most heights but i've really been enjoying these dresses especially in the summertime moving on i talked about this in my stories but never on a vlog i think um, this is what I affectionately call my trash bag jacket. I love it so much. This was such a good deal. Um, a lot of these jackets that look like this, they look sort of like a Montclair jacket. They're really like large, large puffy. I want to say like large square puffy jackets. They're really in right now where they're not like super fine quilted, but they're just like these big puffy pockets of, you know, insulated, um, jacket basically. This is not by some no-name uh, brand from China, if you know what I mean. This is actually an Amazon brand called, well, it was made in China, but Amazon brand called Core 10, and really affordable kind of workout and outerwear and loungewear type um, clothing. This is the first thing I've purchased from them, and I am super impressed. A lot of these jackets that are very shiny kind of like glad trash bag jackets. They can either look way too oversized, way too bulky, make you look like you're 30 pounds heavier than you are. They can make you look very bulky and heavy, um, or they're so plasticky that they like stick and make strange noises um, when you're walking or moving, which is very unpleasant when you are wearing a jacket. This doesn't do either of those things. It's just a really good build quality, really nice zipper, really good fit. I'll tell you what size I got, medium. I got medium because I knew I'd be, I would have a bump in the winter and it decently covers my bump, which is pretty good. If I was not, I, I think actually I can wear this even when I'm not pregnant, I'll, I'll fit in it just fine. I probably would have ordinarily ordered a small, which is what I usually am on top. So I'm usually like mediums or larges on bottoms. Um, but yeah, normally I'm a small on top. So I would just say order your normal size. Really good price, really great deal quality product highly recommend super glad i bought this last piece of clothing is um bras if you've heard of true and company they're like kind of like an instagram popular um ad you know like instagram ad uh brand but they make these super comfortable bras now i want to say i tried true and company bras maybe a year to two years ago during vlogmas and i did not like them I think I had issues with sizing, but they were conventional bras. And since that time, I have moved, moved to like stretchy, um, spandexy, no wire bras. I, I just don't even wear like underwire bras anymore. I haven't worn them in like two years. And so that is the way to go. I originally, my, my, my core collection is from Soma Intimates, but they can be about the same price as this, and you have to go into a store and go buy them or whatever. Um, they've held up actually very well for being worn every single day. But these I really like because it just it just changes up the silhouette a little bit. So this one has some adjustable straps if you like that. This is by True & Co. And I got this kind of tan color. And um, they're so comfortable and they, they're just, they're awesome. And the cool thing about True & Co. is that even if you have large a large bust, these will still work for you. So you don't need the underwire um, even if you have a large bust. So the, they make them so that they fit a large range of bust sizes. So I'll link this one and then I'll link the other one that I wear that's more like the Soma um, bras that don't have adjustable straps that are just kind of like this same material all the way through. I can't find, I think it's in the wash somewhere. But yeah, these uh, I'm really glad I bought these. I'm really glad because I wear them all the time. And when I'm looking through my drawer that has my bras in it, I always preferentially <laughs> seek these, these ones out. All right, so a nice smooth transition from clothing to laundry. 
I, you guys know I, I talk about this all the time, but the Tyler Glamorous Wash, I've graduated from getting the small ones to slightly bigger, and now I'm on like the gallon size. What, how much is this actually? This will last me the entire year, an entire year of, de of detergent. I'm just telling you. So this is super, super concentrated, very luxurious. Get the Diva, don't look at any other scent. Just, just get Diva, okay? Just trust me on this one. It's made for high efficiency machines. It's a fine laundry detergent. You can use it on anything and you just put like the smallest, like one capful is enough. So a lot of these detergents have a lot of water in them and you're actually like buying this big bulky thing with made with a lot of plastic because it's a bigger container and then you're just pouring basically it's like 75 percent water this is super concentrated it lasts me like a year i would say if i used it on absolutely everything it probably lasts me six months but that's still a really good deal considering that it's a fine laundry detergent and it is pricey but consider how long it lasts probably nine to t i would say nine to twelve months to be honest with you if you use it the way it's supposed to do you're supposed to use three ounces per load which that's like a quarter of a cup i don't even use that much i wouldn't use that much i think that would be way way too much i use a capful maybe two capfuls in one load and it's more than enough um i love it it makes everything smell delicious and cozy and rich and luxurious. When you use it on bed sheets and everything, like your whole room kind of subtly smells like it's not overpowering. It can be overpowering if you probably use it the way that the directions say, but don't use it that way. It won't be overpowering. It's amazing, I love it. Okay, a couple of things that I wanna talk about that I don't have in my hands or are too bulky, but I have a list and so you can all right, this Bose mini speaker. I love the color. I love the sound that comes out of it. I love how easy it is to pair. It talks back to you and tell, not like in a naughty way, but I love how easy it is to set up. You, t It talks to you to tell you what buttons to push and how to set. It has, it's Bose, so it's a really nice sound. It's affordable, it's a great gift. There are lots of different sizes you can get. I have the mini, but there's also a micro. I don't know how good that sounds, but it is a lot more portable and a lot more affordable option. Um, I actually don't have it in my hands right now because I've literally packed it in my hospital bag. That's how much I love it. I plan on using it for white noise because hospitals can be very, very noisy. And I plan on, you know, using it for, basically for white noise. Yeah, pretty much. But anyway, so that's why I don't have it in my hands right now, but I got the yellow version. It's so fun and bright. It's easy to spot in a bag. I love it. It would not be an Amazon 2020 favorites video if I didn't mention my air fryer. I don't want to be like that, that obnoxious meme that talks about like <laughs> every person who owns an air fryer is like, oh, you need an air fryer. But truly, I wouldn't say you need every air fryer. Like, I wouldn't say you need just an air fryer by itself. I just think that this particular device is so great because it combines a toaster oven, an oven, a convection oven, an air fryer, a broiler, and something else. But it's also like looks really sleek. It's not, we don't mind having it out in our kitchen on our counters all the time. And we use it almost every single day. For whatever reason, whether we're using it to air fry things or not, we're using it every single day. We make a lot of toddler food in it because I don't have to heat up my ginormous wolf, uh, super old and inefficient wolf uh, oven in order to like heat up some chicken nuggets or something, for example. It's just, it's so nice. It's so much more energy efficient than using the entire oven. And we, we can put toast in it and it's just, it's a wonderful device. It's a wonderful, I will link it down below. It is so fantastic. I think they actually came out with an updated model since the one that I purchased and it's even more compact, which is awesome because I would totally have gotten that one. Yeah, totally recommend that 100%. Let's look at the next thing. The next thing, oh, the last last but not least, um, in, a, in a 2020 pandemic world, we cut out going to Starbucks completely. Um, I was already, you guys know I was already kind of cutting out Starbucks anyway. I had an espresso machine I, I know and love. You guys know I love that thing and I still have it. We actually took it to the ranch so that we can have my favorite espresso coffee at the ranch. But what I ended up doing was switching to a super automatic espresso machine. This is like definitely extra. Definitely don't need to have a super automatic espresso machine, but I am a hardcore coffee lover. You guys know, Christina coffee. Like I'm all about that life. Um, I've missed having multiple cups of coffee during the day while pregnant, but 
I do still have one cup of coffee every single day and that is totally allowed. But anyway, besides that point, I have loved having a machine that like grinds the espresso, the coffee beans right the moment you wanna make it. And while Nespresso, I would say, is the freshest version of any pod you'll ever have, like Keurig, ugh, don't even get me started, bleh, so disgusting. I absolutely can't stand any Keurig coffee. It's just, it's absolutely, it's worse than drip coffee in my opinion, it's terrible. I'm sorry if you love and stand your Keurig coffee maker, but I can't stand the taste. Um, HB actually, incidentally, you know, Nespresso ain't perfect and he is not a fan of Nespresso coffee. He says it makes him feel ill, maybe because it's really strong or something, I'm not really sure, but he likes the super automatic espresso machine. Don't go with the, I'm not even gonna link the one I have because it's ridiculous, it's like a European version. I had to buy a power converter and all this other stuff, but I will link kind of the most reasonable one of these super automatic espresso machines. They are very expensive. Um, but they are so worth it. It will pay for itself within a year. Think about going to Starbucks and a latte is like, what, seven to $10 now, especially if you're getting it one of the fancy ones and people get one every single day. That, that's like $300 a month and you're quickly approaching the machine price within a month and a half. So check it out. It's a great way to save yourself some money, get some, get some syrups, you know, get your whipped cream if you need the whipped cream, get your cinnamon topping, whatever but it will save you so much money in the long run and it, it has saved us money in the long run even though i bought like the fanciest ex most expensive one i use it every single day matter of fact i just got to uh, finish descaling it uh for the second time and it is it has just been i got it for my birthday and it has been the most used item in my house like most used machine in my house like hands down of 2020 it's been amazing so that I believe, let's double check. Yeah, that's it for my Amazon favorites of 2020. I don't know how much that adds up to. It would have been cool if I could come up with 20, but though this was just my hardcore group of favorites for 2020. And I hope you enjoyed them. As I mentioned, links down in the description box below. I feel like I've talked ad nauseum for 25 minutes apparently. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend who you think might enjoy any of these items that I talked about in this video. And make sure if you're new here, subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. Go check out my Vlogmas series. I make videos about medicine, luxury, lifestyle, fashion, and beauty, and I would love to have you back. So make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the notification bell, like this video. Thank you so much. I will leave you be now. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.